Samantha Armitage grew up on a farm and married a farmer, so she's uniquely qualified to appear as a guest host on the new season of Farmer Wants a Wife. She'll help host Natalie Gruzlevsky guide five farmers in their search for love when the show returns to Channel 7 and 7 Plus on Sunday, September 4th at 7 p.m. Watch the video above, Sam Armitage joins Farmer Wants a Wife for more TV-related news and videos check out TV this year for male farmers, Will, Ben, Harry and Benjamin, and one female farmer, Paige, will be looking for their forever person. Thousands of eligible singles have applied to meet the famers and a special five will be invited back to the farm to learn who is made for life on the land. For Armitage, the joy of the show is that its contestants are genuine about looking for love. Farmers are very close to my heart, she says. My husband, dad and brother are from the land. And it's not always easy to meet someone decent when you live in the bush. The popular presenter will be there to provide advice on what it's like to fall in love with a farmer. She'll also introduce the farmers to people she has chosen for them because she thinks they could thrive in the country. Armitage knows a little bit about swapping the city rat race for a life on the land, because she did it herself. Armitage married horse breeder Richard Lavender on New Year's Eve in 2020, and together they live on his rural property in the picturesque NSW Southern Highlands. It's been wonderful, she says. We have a very happy, contented, productive life in the country. I still travel or zoom into meetings in the city for work when I need to. Our house is always full of friends and family and dogs and mud. The mud I could do without, but everyone else is welcome. Life on the land Armage says the biggest challenge for many farmers is the loneliness that can come with isolation. The Wi-Fi doesn't always work in regional areas and you can't just order Uber Eats for dinner, she says. You're really at the mercy of Mother Nature when she turns on floods or droughts or dust storms. There are lots of insects and spiders and snakes and when you're dealing with livestock or farm machinery there's never a dull moment. Farmers work really hard, seven days a week. So, if you're not self-sufficient, a team player and you don't love the land, forget it. Farm life is perfect for people who love peace and quiet, our adds. She also loves being more in tune with the changing of the seasons, growing her own vegetables, collecting eggs for breakfast each morning and plucking figs and lemons. And I adore my kitchen, which is bigger than my old one in the city and more fun to cook in, she admits. I also love that farmers contribute so much to Australia's success, providing food and protecting and managing and nourishing the environment. Words of Wisdom Armitage is hoping to impart some words of wisdom based on her own experience of falling in love with a farmer. To marry a farmer and live and thrive in the country you must understand that your man or woman makes their living from the land, so you need to love it too, she says. Many farms have been handed down through families for generations, so there's a deep connection. Farmers aren't always the most talkative blokes, so you'll need to be optimistic, resilient and self-contained. This year's farmers This year's farmers include Farmer Will, 26, Barry Willick, Vic Farmer Page, 27, Casillas, Ms. Farmer Ben, 27, Wingham, Ms. Farmer Benjamin, 33, Gyra, Ms. Farmer Harry, 23, Kai Abram, the can this year's show was set to be even more romantic than usual, with dreamy overnight dates, luxury country getaways and spectacular group get-togethers that will set the stage for life-changing love stories. Farmer Wants a Wife premieres 7 p.m. Sunday 4th of September on Channel 7 and 7 Plus. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together. Don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.